January 24th, 1960. Buckingham Palace. Dear Mr. President, Seeing a picture of you in today's newspaper standing in front of a barbecue grilling quail reminded me that I had never sent you the recipe of the drop scones which I promised you at Balmoral. I now hasten to do so, and I do hope you will find them successful. Though the quantities are for sixteen people, when there are fewer, I generally put in less flour and milk, but use the other ingredients as stated. I have also tried using golden syrup or treacle instead of only sugar, and that can be very good too. I think the mixture needs a great deal of beating while making, and shouldn't stand about too long before cooking. We have followed with intense interest and much admiration your tremendous journey to so many countries, but feel we shall never again be able to claim that we are being made to do too much on our future tours. We remember with such pleasure your visit to Belmoral, and I hope the photograph will be a reminder of the very happy day you spent with us. With all good wishes to you and Mrs. Eisenhower, yours sincerely, Elizabeth R. Drop scones. Ingredients. Four teacups flour, four tablespoons caster sugar, two teacups milk, two whole eggs, two teaspoons bicarbonate soda, three teaspoons cream of tartar, two tablespoons melted butter. Beat eggs, sugar, and about half the milk together. Add flour and mix well together, adding remainder of milk as required. Also, bicarbonate and cream of tartar, fold in the melted butter. Enough for 16 people.